Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and it's time to get Hearthstone. We're going to continue on with the Curse of Naxxramas solo adventure. In the last video, we beat uh, the first boss in the first wing, so it's time to uh, go on to the uh, the next uh, boss in that wing. Paolina is training acolytes to worship me. Her job is very important. Do not disturb her. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what her hero power is all about. So it's uh, Rain of Fire. Fire a missile for each card in your opponent's hand. Oh, okay, so that's interesting because a lot of the decks I play as uh, have some... Well, let's go ahead and choose her, and we'll talk about that uh, here in a minute. Most of the decks I play with are kind of set up where, of course, cards in your hand is good. Uh... So, you know, the Warlock has the ability to draw cards through his hero ability. Uh, the um, Buff Draw deck uh, has card draw uh, cards, so that keeps his uh, hand full. Uh, so, out of these decks that I think, um, I probably think the Spell Lock and the Buff Draw are probably not the right choice for this. So, I think any of these three choices, the Beastly deck, the Taunt Caster, or the Out of Nowhere deck, would be good for this challenge. I think I'm going to go with the Beastly deck because uh, I think dumping our hand uh, would be a little bit easier, maybe, with this deck than some of the others. Uh, as playing more conservatively is a good idea with the Taunt Caster as well as the Out of Nowhere because with Out of Nowhere, you're trying to set up a, uh, a, a combo series that finishes off your opponent very quickly out of nowhere. Uh, so having cards in hand, not good in this situation. So I think the Beastly deck's probably our best bet. And I have modified this deck since last you've seen it. It's uh, had some uh, modifications. The first time I showed it, it was truly just a basic deck with all the basic cards. I think maybe one or two cards were non-basic cards. Now it has a lot more uh, cards that are non-basic, but it still is a largely basic, basic deck as I'm still newer to this game. All right. Begin. Well, we've got a 1-2-3 play in our hand, so I see no reason why to discard anything. This is going to be important that we keep um, playing as many cards as we can to minimize her uh, hero power. So I'm thinking for sure, play the uh, Stone Toast Boar, and then probably the Scavenging Hyena next turn, depending on what she does. All right, coining. You're going to use your hero power right away? Yeah, I thought so. All right. Well, she cleared the board and smacked me for three. Now, uh, the one thing that I'm not sure about, and I'm assuming that this is a random, because it says fire a missile for each card in your opponent's hand. Now, all three of the missiles hit me, but I'm assuming that this is, uh, the, the targets are random, but just so happened that that was what happened. Well, uh, the Scavenging Hyena would be the right play here, um, but unfortunately, uh, she can still use her hero power next turn to, to kill it. There, there's not, but I, in my opinion, it's one of the best moves I can do. And just cross her fingers, she's not able to kill it. And then next turn, uh, yeah, see, that didn't, that didn't work in our favor, unfortunately. It wouldn't have made any difference which of these that you know the dire wolf or the scavenging hyena they would have both died to that hero ability so it's literally at a point where i just cannot play the cards fast enough uh so i'm thinking uh animal companion here all right uh that won't die necessarily to whatever she plays uh i mean whatever her hero ability but still three damage is going to come out But she's not playing anything else. Unfortunately for us, uh, we cannot play more than one card this turn. So we're going to have three cards in our hand. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just luck of the draw. Uh, so uh, I could do either Houndmaster here or Dire Wolf Alpha. I'm thinking Houndmaster. It's a little bit uh, more resilient. Give our buff to our already out there minion, and I think I think face with this one. The damned stand ready. Uh, 
Okay, this turn we can actually play two, so uh, I'm going to do that. And we'll play both minions here, and I think just face again. Although, if we damage this guy, he death rattles and nobody gets the health, but I think face is the way I want to go with this. And I still think face is the right move here. And again, we're going to be stuck with only being able to play one of the cards in our hand. Well, if we do kill command, that's five damage. And then we've got probably enough to finish him off. Yep, looks like it. So there we go. Nice, easy victory. Initially, that was a little bit uh, rough uh, because of her hero ability, but... Once we're able to overcome that. The Spider Queen will dispatch you easily. In any case, as I was saying, once we uh, got past that point where her hero ability stopped being a factor, we got momentum on our side and we were able to kill her pretty quickly. So I think that went uh, perfectly. So let's get our reward here, which is the, uh, the Web Lord here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.